Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, June 13th, and it is time for Archer's Outlook. This is for all them lurky loos and lurky loosies that want to get extra nosy during the day and snoop into the energies that the universe is beaming down onto this awesome planet and see exactly how many wires in people's heads it's causing to touch bare metal up there and completely short them out. Sometimes we have good days, sometimes we have bad days, sometimes it's Helter Skelter by the Beatles, we don't know. So we're gonna take a look at it for today and get your astrological universal sign people acting stupid forecast for the day. Our sun is still in Gemini. We're cruising through Gemini on the way to cancer season. And the moon, of course, is going to be in Sagittarius. That full moon is coming up tomorrow, the 14th into the 15th, the full moon in Sag. That is karma getting laid down when you couple it up with Saturn retrograde. And, you know, Sagittarius, Jupiter, good luck, good fortune. Karma's going to get laid out. And if you set some good karma contentions during this full moon, you will get to reap the rewards. Go ahead and use some of that Saggy energy and knowledge because they have a ton of it. And Sagittarius like to share. They'll tell you they know what they're doing. So let's take a peek at what we got going on right now. So we're in that strawberry moon. That's a lot of fire and air. That's kind of like, you know, with Mars and Jupiter both in Aries, that's like if you had a baby right now, that'd just be a fiery baby. Just let's go, let's do it, let's do everything. You know, let's go on an adventure, let's play and and do do everything. It's just kind of a, a you know, like, hey, hey, whoa, we got a live one here type thing. So, all right, let's see what we're jamming to today for this Monday, June is the 13th, 2022. We're gonna get a couple shuffles here. One. Ooh, oh, okay, see, we already got this stuff happening. I told you this is that fiery, like, hey, everybody look, everybody look, you know, screw it, let's do it. More cards than we planned, but very appropriate cards, too, for what we're up against. Boom, like it. We're just stopping right there. Overall energy at the bottom, two of wands. Told you guys we got a lot of fire happening. Check it out. You've got the emperor hanging out. Strength is there. Six of wands. The world's everybody, so that's fire, water, the whole shebangy boot. The fool is there, same thing. This is like a complete cycle, too. You've got the fool and the world. you got the beginning and the end of the tarot deck, too. All right, so this is definitely gonna be a lot of people saying, hey, hey, look at me, look what I can do, and running towards everything, just like that. It doesn't matter whether they're in their heads or not. People today are going to be very kind of happy and harmonious, that's cool. That's showing that Gemini and Sagittarius, air and fire. What happens when you put more air to a fire? It gets bigger, and people are gonna be telling you all about their new plans, what's happened to them over the weekend, what they're doing over the summer, all these awesome new things that are happening. And they are all going to be sitting in some abundance. They're going to be emperor. They're going to want it their way. This is the Burger King card right there. The emperor gets what he wants. And that's what they're going to be. And they're going to, even if it's getting all messed up and not working out right, they're going to tell you that. They're going to be like, I cannot believe that Jill told me we could not go to Nashville all summer. I wanted to do a week there. And she says we can only do a long weekend. I didn't understand it. And I told her, no, if we go to Nashville, we're doing it for a whole week because this is the only time we're going to get to do it this year. And then she agreed and said, okay, it sounds like a good idea. And then they're going to tell you about taking that leap and being very strong and confident in it. Oh, Jill told me we could only afford four days in Nashville, but nope. I told her the whole week and I'm sticking to my guns and Jill was cool with it. And they're going to be the stars. The Caitlin Petty card comes out, the six of wands. Standing up, they're going to, they're going to want you to almost basically applaud them at everything that they've done and come through with and, and just how all this, this just crazy harmonious stuff happens and Oh my goodness, we, my ex and I were fighting, or, or my wife and I were fighting, my husband and I were fighting, and now we're just all happy and great, and all that stuff was wonderful and awesome. It's, it's, people are gonna really enjoy this. This is a fiery, passionate, communicative time. People are gonna just wanna tell you about all the awesome sauce stuff happening in their lives. And you know what? Go ahead and soak it up. Take up some of that good energy and, and embrace it. Have fun with it. Don't forget, set your intentions for the full moon. Check out those rituals online. You can look into YouTube or Google it up or do whatever you want to do on them internets and uh, see how to, you know, journal, candle, I don't know, just set some intentions and use this full moon energy. Listen, I'm a Cancer. I'm the moon's bitch. So I know that it's a strong little rock out there. You might as well use it to your advantage. Make a decision and go for it. Everybody else is going to and everybody else today is going to have no problem telling you that they did. So... Get your butts out there. Make it a great, passionately, woohoo, Gemini, Saggy type of day. All right, have a good one. We'll see you next time. Bye.